Um, and then I started looking for a job. I worked in several gyms. Uh, I remember in one gym, um, I was working for about $10 a day, 12, 12 hours uh, uh, shifts. It was only me. And I was also cleaning the gym. <laughs> yeah. Знаеш ли какво беше тук? През лятото, като завали, слагахме кофите, може би 5-6 кофи. Аз дори съм работил в това място едно лято. И знаеш, че нямаш ли чистач? Знаеш кой беше чистач? Кой беше чистач? But for me it was good because I was I was working out for free. That was the main the main um, motivation. So um, I could do the, the thing I love. I remember that uh, I had one old car, so this car broke down, and I didn't have a car, and uh, I wanted to buy a car, <laughs> and um, I started looking for a second job, so I can get enough money to buy a car, and uh, this is how I started working uh, in the night as a you know security in a nightclub. A bouncer. A bouncer, yeah, and. Uh, um, During the day, I was working as a personal trainer, and I bought the car. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, I get enough money for to buy the car, and I worked as a, in the club for three years and a half. In the meantime, when I was competing, I posted several videos on YouTube. <laughs> Ако има желание си заслужава, ако нямаш не. Ако може да оцени пари, колко пари ти излезна това участие тук, като през годините? Ако го сметна може по всичките години, към... Вестин хили лео. А от него си спечелил? <laughs> За сега нищо. So, it was basically... The first video was me training. Just training. It was 2006. You know, YouTube was uh, created in 2005, and uh, I posted this video on 2006. So you can call me one of the first YouTubers, probably. <laughs> um, and I posted this video. I don't know why. Um, then I posted in 2007. This was my second competition. I was in really good shape. You, you posted the, the posing routine, I think. Yeah, I posted, I just saw myself in the mirror, I said, oh, I'm shredded, I'm, this is my best shape ever. And I just made a video uh, of me posing in fro in, uh, in, at my home. It was, uh, even my, my head was cut, you know, I, it was just my body. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't showing my, my head and, uh, and I continued to This was 2007, and I, during that time, I uh, started working in the club, you know. And I saw that this video had uh, 700,000 views. That's and a lot, even by today's standards. Uh, yeah, but back then it was probably like uh, 70 million today. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but but YouTube wasn't so so popular, and uh, I saw that many people. Um, just texted me about uh, hey i want to buy your channel i'll give you 200 dollars and uh, i want to promote stuff in your channel and i was like what so you can actually make money of this thing and uh actually one of the guys was was offering me to put um some some link in uh to, to to some product inside my video and this is how i got the idea okay i'm a personal trainer i can make more videos maybe i can make a website for uh, online personal training you know i will uh, make more videos like this i will get in shape um even better shape and this is what i will start doing i will just try you know i didn't know um i didn't have good english So I said I need a partner, you know, that has good English because if I'm getting clients from from all over the world, the product needs to be good. So I contacted one guy. Uh, his name is uh, Yavor, uh, and he I just knew that he knows good English because he lived in the U.S. I contacted him, and um, 
I said, you, listen, I have this idea. You need to translate. I'm going to make uh, the personal training. But my English isn't so good. So if you want to do this 50-50. And he said, no, okay, let's try it. So I started to get in shape. And I remember that um, to get in the, the, this shape that I'm on my first photo shoots for my website, uh, I did... Um, I think nine days with uh, without carbs. I spent nine days without carbs, and at the same time I was working in a nightclub as a bouncer. As a bouncer, so I didn't have any strength. And I was at some point I was staying in. Uh, you know, I was about to pass out, and I was like saying, "Oh, I I hope just there is no fights tonight because I don't have the strength. And if I, if I have to take someone uh, out the club, I don't have uh, strength to, to take it out. You know, I'm going to fall on, on the ground, you know. This is what I remember. And um, I made this uh, uh, website, uh, lazarangelov.com. <clears throat> then... Um, I made more pictures, started posting on social media, on YouTube, and uh, there was one guy, his name is uh, Tony Foley. Uh, he's the owner of this website, simplyshredded.com. And uh, he was, uh, he approached me and he said, um, I want to make an interview with you uh, for my website. And back then, this website was, uh, you know, the main uh, website where people were seeing uh, aesthetic physics, you know, bef because before that it was only bodybuilders. It was this this website and bodybuilding.com and I was on Simply Shredded and I've read, uh, there was, I think, two articles with you, um, maybe even more, but I've read them so many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this was the, the website that uh, helped to promote this aesthetic physics, you know. And I was actually very happy because I, I saw that people actually appreciate that kind of physics because be before that people, you know, bodybuilding was only uh, huge bodybuilders. And uh, I wasn't a big fan of that kind of physics, you know. I admire them, but I never said I want to look like this, you know. And uh, he, as I said, he approached me, we made the interview, and then when he posted the interview, I was everywhere in this, um, you know, people that were, you know, interested in that type of physics, uh, they saw me, you know. So this thing, I think, uh, through this interview, I made my way, you know. And back then, there was just a couple of guys like uh, Ziz, um, Greg Plitt, I don't know anyone else. I remember. I think you guys were the first three. So you saw the, the opportunities in social media, actually, and, and developing yourself as a brand, not, in, not specifically in bodybuilding, and you made the, the pivot towards that. Yeah, actually, when I was uh, just uh, working in the, in the, in the gym, uh, I also saw some sort of opportunity of uh, creating business with the way I look, with the way my body looks, but I didn't know how because there was no social media in the way we know it. So, you know, people were telling me, you know, you look amazing how to get apps like you. And this made me think, you know, maybe some way uh, the, the money that I'm giving for to maintain, to build this body, will, uh, I will get back, you know. So I was just waiting for the moment to come. Then, then I saw the opportunity uh, in social media and this is how it happened.